Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another Notion video. I am so happy about it though, honestly. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I manage like all of my content production and YouTube and like sponsored videos and like all of these little things, like how I manage to like organize it all because it's really like you can't do it on the notes app, it's not enough. In the past few months, I've been working on a good Notion page for this. And for the past month, I've been using this specific setup. And honestly, it suits me so well. I really, really love this page. Also, also, I want to say this video is sponsored by Notion, but honestly, I'm surprised this is my first video sponsored by them because I have made so many videos about Notion. Like, I'm honestly obsessed. Like, it's honestly kind of been a love story. Like, I love Notion so much. Like, it's not normal. So I've had a Skillshare class on how to use Notion with almost over 20,000 students. And also, I have made all of these Notion videos. So I honestly, honestly love Notion to death. But yeah, this video is going to be more about how to use it as like a creator, specifically how I use it. Obviously, some of these things are not going to be applicable to some specific creative careers but like specifically what I'm doing this works so well for me so let's get straight into it because I have so much to show you guys so the first thing we can see here first of all I just want to say I don't know why I went with blue it just felt right I don't know why also a very tiny thing but I want to say that this icon was inspired by Michelle B because I saw in her notion video she had like little pictures and circles and I was like it looks so cute so before we open up any of the pages I'm gonna give you guys like a little brief tour of what's on this main page because this is kind of like the menu page like the main dashboard page. So as you can see, when we scroll down on the left, it's kind of like a menu and also my accounting stuff and analytics stuff, but that kind of fits into the menu thing. It's just that I kind of wanted like a, its own little sections. And on the right, we have a knowledge base, which I'll explain what it is right now. And then we have a little section to add a new video idea, which is linked to the main content database. I will explain it later, but it's beautiful. Then right here, we have a little date widget to kind of show like how far along we are in the year, how far along we are in the month. And then here, this is a linked database to my goals database. I'm going to cover that in a whole other video, but I have a whole page for my goals and this is basically linked to that database, but it only shows me the goals that are related to YouTube. So as you can see right here, like upload 35 videos, reach 400,000 subscribers. Those are in my goals database, not in the content database, but it's just a view of that database with a filter on it. But I will also get into that later. So let me quickly explain kind of like the structure of how my databases are connected. So basically I have one huge database called the content database. It's on the bottom right here. And honestly, most of my pages are literally the content database in different views. So the YouTube, Instagram, Skillshare, Reels, Ideas, Content Schedule, Status, and Sponsored Videos. All of those pages are literally just content database, but it's specific views. So YouTube is obviously the filtered view of content database to specifically only see YouTube videos. So what we're going to see here is the title of the video. The format, format is not necessary but it kind of helps me like for example if I can see that I have three sit down videos planned maybe I can like film them in one day then we have the status so for status I just have not started next to plan planning occasion ready to film filming ready to edit editing ready to upload complete and awaiting payment some of these may seem like not necessary for example occasion you might be like what the hell is that basically occasion is a vlog which is specifically only happening in like a specific date it's not just like a vlog that I can film whenever it's based around a specific occasion so for example like my Lisbon vlog is an occasion video. It's not just a vlog. It's an occasion video because I can't pre-film it. Like I can't film it now. I have to wait until I'm in Lisbon. Then we have the very basic record, edit, upload date. And then also what we can see right here is the number of followers. This is something I just like to do to like track that like, okay, when I posted this video, this is the amount of followers I had so that I know like more or less, like I got this many views on this video with this amount of subscribers. Like it's just useful for me to have this information. Also, I want to say that my YouTube page for sure is my longest page because you're gonna see now my Instagram, my Reels, and my Skillshare page is not very full because I'm not as active on there so I don't plan as much but that's something I'm trying to get into so telling you guys now like these pages are not full I still like I'm not very good at like writing Instagram captions and stuff but I'm trying to get into it and this is the system that I'm using to do it so for the Instagram post we just see like the title kind of like what the picture is like a brief description Description. The, the reason there's a status on it and the fact that I even have to plan an Instagram post is because I want to start actually writing captions on my post instead of just like putting a random emoji and just being like, okay, it's posted. Like I want to start making actually good posts. The next page we have is Skillshare. This is more or less the same as YouTube. It's just like Skillshare class ideas that I have. Like in this database, like it doesn't mean this is something I'm already starting to work on. This is something I'm going to do in the next like six months. Like some of these ideas, I could do them in three years. This is literally just like all of my ideas 
ideas and everything that there is. Also, same thing for the reels. As you can see, I don't have many reels planned, but I am working on it. <laughs> so I wanna quickly show you guys what happens when you create a new video, because I have a little template. Basically, when you scroll down, you can choose if this is a planned video, if this is a vlog, if this is a travel vlog, weekly vlog, Instagram photo, reels, or a Skillshare class. So I have most of these templates made. For some of them, I haven't really like developed them because I didn't know what else to put right now. But let me quickly show you them. So the first one is video. So when you click on video, you're gonna get all of this. So the first we have ideas and thoughts. Question storm, once again, very inspired by Michelle B. I saw this on her video of like how she uses it as a content creator. And this is super useful. Basically, she said that she comes up with like any questions she has about the video, like anything related to that topic. And it just initially gives you more ideas of what you could talk about in the video. Then we have some successful examples. So kind of like, I wanna put my own spin on it, but what in general has done well? Then we have keywords. This is just for like your tags when you're filling in your information in the YouTube. So thumbnail idea. So I can just kind of write down like, oh, I want to pose for this picture and like I want this to be the background and then yeah title ideas editing ideas and how can I bring more value so this is something I try to answer every time before I start a video but this is usually more specifically to planned videos because sometimes like if it's a vlog I might not have like specific ideas ahead of time I just vlog my time then we also have a little script area I don't usually script my videos much but sometimes there are some parts where I kind of need bullet points just to like remember what I'm saying and I used to honestly just have like the page and just bullet points written down so i really like this format of it this was also inspired by michelle b and then i have a little linked database here to b roll which is another database i'm going to show you guys later but actually it's right here so basically i have one huge database for all of the b roll that needs to be filmed so for anyone that doesn't know what b roll is basically like when you're filming a roll is basically a clip that you are like talking to the camera like i'm directly speaking to the camera i'm not recording a voice over like this is direct like i'm speaking to you right now Whereas B-roll is like something when you film and you're not actively talking to the camera. So like if I film myself like doing the dishes, that's B-roll. If I film myself like using an application or like cleaning or something, that's B-roll. So sometimes like to make a video a bit more interesting, it's good to add B-rolls. And then we have a little publishing checklist. This looks messy because let me explain. Why are some of these bullet points and why are some of these checkboxes? Because before I had this as checkboxes, but I never completed it because it had all of these little things like upload video write a description I was like I'm gonna do those things anyway those things are just like natural to me so things that I just naturally do that I don't have to remind myself for they're bullet points so set a video recording date create thumbnail add a description like I'm gonna do that anyway things that I tend to forget which are actually quite a lot here are in a checkbox so for example like I always forget to add end cards I always forget to add timestamps that's like something that really annoys me so what we have for vlogs is a little bit different but still quite similar so so as you can see, the first thing we have is a little table. This table is just like little areas of my life that I might sometimes forget about. Like this is just like little things to remind you like, oh, like you do yoga, film yourself doing yoga. Like it's just like little things of my life. So this is very useful for me when it's a vlog. Then we have kind of a similar thing with ideas. Like we have the keywords, thumbnail ideas, title ideas, editing ideas. That's the same as in the last one. And now we have questions, which is different. We didn't have that in the sit down vlog. So we have what is the current context of your life? What is going on? What are the exciting things coming up or happening right now? Do you have any worries or anything you can work on in this period? What are some of your priorities for this period? I, the reason I'm saying this period is because some vlogs last a week, some vlogs last two days. So, and also what are your goals this week slash month? So basically I feel like if I film like a vlog every few days, then vlogs start to become repetitive. So the thing that makes the vlogs a little bit less repetitive is the context of my life, the context of what's going going on, my goals, the changes, the things that are coming up. So these questions are just kind of to remind you like what is going on right now. Basically like what can you tell your viewers? What can you update them on? I feel like it makes each vlog a little different to the one before because the context of my life changes all the time. Like there's always something changing, something going on, new goals, new habits, and like stuff like me cleaning my house. That's always going to look more or less the same. So I feel like this just gives it a little bit more like oomph, like it makes it a little bit more interesting. And then this is just like a general general plan obviously i'm not gonna like plan ahead of vlog but for example if i know that like on day one like i'm going to a dance class or like on day three i'm going out with my friends like just a general general 
plan just to know like, okay, on the fourth day of this vlog, I'm not gonna be doing anything. So I should like organize something, like I should go to some class, like, I don't know, just kind of not just like make the vlog interesting, but it's kind of almost like just make my life a little bit more balanced, a little bit more interesting. And then we have the same publishing checklist that we had earlier. This is very, very useful for me. Then travel vlog and weekly vlog are the same right now. I'm currently working on how to make them like a little bit different to each other. So travel vlog, I wanna add in like more questions about like, what did you see today? What is like some history you learned? But I have not made those templates yet. Then for Instagram photo, we literally just have like the caption. That is it, <laughs> but it's enough. You know, for reels, I don't have anything. And for Skillshare class, I also don't have anything right now, but it's because they're not things I'm making very often. The next page we have is ideas. This is pretty self-explanatory. This is ideas for all platforms. So the idea here is the reason there's a record and upload date is basically if I set a date for either of those, it's gonna leave the ideas page and it's gonna go automatically into the page of the platform. So if it's a YouTube video, it's gonna go straight into like the YouTube page. So basically like it's only an idea when and it doesn't have a date. Once it has a date, it's like a plan and action kind of. But yeah, as soon as I set an upload date or a recording date, it leaves this page. This is the thing I use the most right now. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It is my content schedule. So we have the recording date of everything, the editing date of everything and the upload dates. This is honestly what I use the most. Like when I plan my week, I'm gonna go on this page. I'm gonna see, okay, what do I have to film today? What do I have to edit? What do I have to upload? Then we have the status where we have all of our little status <laughs> I don't know what to call them. So not started, next to plan, planning. And this is also very satisfying when you can move one thing to the other because it just like moves along one step. And the thing I really like here that Notion has is subgroups. So as you can see, this is all of my YouTube videos specifically, but if I just want to see my Skillshare, then I can just close this page and see specifically only my Skillshare class ideas. Here is a database of the sponsors I've worked with before. And basically this is directly linked to the content database page. Page. So whenever I have a video, I link it directly to a sponsor. So for example, whenever a video is sponsored, for example, let's say this video is sponsored by Notion, I will link that page and say that it is sponsored by Notion. And then we have a roll up property to say how many videos I have made with that sponsor and also what is the most recent videos. So either how long the most recent video was with that brand or when is like the next one coming up. So for example, we have here like a video in a month. And if you open up each page, there's gonna be like a little bit of details about each sponsor so who do i email who have i been like talking to specifically like who have i been emailing with or like if they have their own like payment platform like the login details for all of that then we have the sponsored videos this is still the content database this is still the same database but here i can just see specifically the videos that are coming up that are sponsored these are only the ones coming up if i want to see the ones i've already completed i can go into this different view but this view is just the ones that are coming up and also so we have a little toggle here because I feel like it was just honestly really easy just to do in a toggle. So sponsors that I have coming up that don't have a specific date yet. So for example, like I might know like, oh, I have this sponsored video in August, but we haven't decided on a date yet. So that is very useful for me. And then the next two pages we have are just the databases that I've already talked about. So the content database is basically the database you just saw in almost every single page. And the B-roll database is just all of the B-roll from different videos. As you saw earlier, it's a little bit empty right now, but that's okay and then templates this is honestly just a page to keep templates that i share with you guys so for example my language learning plan that is a template that i shared in one of my videos the ultimate travel dashboard that is also a template i shared in one of my videos and this is where i keep the original templates that people can duplicate because I don't want them to like clutter my own page. So this is a page for the templates that I share with you guys. Then the next thing we have is accounting. So as a YouTuber, I am self-employed, so I have to do my own taxes. I mean, I have an accountant to help me, but obviously I have to calculate my own income and business expenses and stuff. So this is basically the place to do it. I used to do it on Google Sheets, but what I found with Google Sheets is I honestly just did not update it enough. What I made is just like a little page to track the date, the description of what it is, the amount, the card that that payment was sent to, and also what kind of payment it was. So was it a sponsored video? Was it like YouTube AdSense, that type of thing. And then it's the same thing for business expenses. So you see the date, the description of what I bought for my channel, how much it cost and what card I spent it with. And also at the bottom, you see a sum of how much in total I have spent. And also in the income one, how much in total I have earned. The next thing we have is analytics. So 
here I have two pages that say Analynx and the first one is Analynx Media Kit and the second one is Analynx Insights. So basically sometimes when I contact brands, they'll ask me for all of my like kind of like demographics, what are my views right now, what are my statistics. Basically my media kit contains all of my insights but it also contains the sponsors I've worked with before like my most viewed sponsored videos and also kind of like my rate card like how much more or less what the budget is like sometimes brands will email me and tell me their budget and I'll be like I'm so sorry but I don't work for that budget so that just kind of gives them like a general idea of what to expect and the insights one is basically the same but it's just kind of like the demographics so like for example if a brand is not asking me for my rate if they're kind of telling me okay we have this budget and I'm okay with that budget then they'll just ask me okay can you send over your demographics and I will just send them the link to that page and then the next page we have is analytics but I track my analytics on Google Sheets and here it's just both of the links to track them on there also I just realized I never explained what the whole thing in the middle was basically the whole thing in the middle is a list of all of the content that I'm posting so including Instagram posts Skillshare classes YouTube videos absolutely everything but it's only up to one week from now so for example this video right here wholesome days in my life right now in the current moment that I'm filming this this video has not gone up but it's up here because it's going up in the next week so I really like this because I can see like what videos I have posted recently and also what's coming up in the next week so yeah the next page is not Knowledge base. I'm not going to open up that page because it's not fully developed. Basically, as soon as this summer ends, I'm going to be working with an editor and I'm also hoping to hire another person. And this is just going to be like the place where I'm kind of like, okay, here's the information. Here is this. Here is this. Just kind of like a place for us to work together. It's also going to be the place for kind of their dashboard to like update me on their progress and stuff. I haven't fully made this yet because it's not the end of the summer. So, so this little thing we have for adding a new video idea, it's very simple how it works. Basically, if I press new it's just gonna have a status of not started which is an idea if i'm on my phone for example and i'm using notion it's very quick to just like swipe down and like add a new video idea and then down here as i said i can't get into this too much because this is another database that i have which is my goals database it is a really cool database that i'm still kind of working on but it's almost finished basically it has my key results of this quarter so this is specifically only showing goals related to like content production and that are in this quarter so for example i have two goals so far for this quarter relating to youtube and that is to upload 35 videos and to reach 400,000 subscribers and basically like it's just nice to always see it there it's nice to see my progress and yeah i think that is my whole page Honestly, it seems like a lot, but it's very simple, but it's super, super useful. It's really useful for me how it's all in one database. Like before, I just had like 50 different tables for YouTube videos, YouTube ideas. And whenever I had like a YouTube idea and I wanted it to not be an idea and be like something I'm working on, I would have to bring it over into another database. So I was like, it just makes sense to make one really big database and just make a lot of different like page views. So this works so well for me. I've been using it, like I said, for about a month consistently and I honestly honestly really really love it so yeah this is honestly not hard to make at all i honestly really recommend using notion like it honestly takes like 10 minutes to learn how to use it and then your life becomes so much more structured and so much more organized and it also lets you create more easily because i have those like questions and triggers to like remind me like what do i want to show in this video instead of just like writing down a video idea in my notes and just being like okay i'm gonna like make a video of this but i don't really know what i'm gonna say this is a lot more in depth and i love this to death so if you want to try notion there's going to be a link in the description but honestly please do try it out it is honestly like a lifesaver and also if you want to learn how to use notion i have a class on it but like shameless plug i personally think you should watch it but yeah that is it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it gave some inspiration for people that are doing similar things even if you're not maybe this just showed you like a new idea of how you can make like a notion page so yeah i hope you guys like this video i will see you guys next time peace out much love